everybody. This is Aqua Tammy and we are back with The Sims 2 ABC Legacy. This is Generation S part number 19. And it's 6 a.m. Everybody's starting to get up. She's a younger generation. They don't know each other. She wouldn't play with her. Hmm. Okay, you're aging up today, Tabitha. And you're cancer, right. You're cancer, you're going to be a family sim. Be some broken stuff that needs to be repaired. So everybody is. You've got a while before you age up. Because there's a bit of a gap between the top four and the next four. So you've got three days before you age up. Or I guess the top three in the next section. Alright everybody. Off to school. Off to work. Have a good day. It is the first day of spring. You can't quite tell it, but it is the first day of spring. We got three kids still in the nursery. Mom is at work. Dad goes to work at 11. Oh, he wants a kiss. They've got nine kids at this point. I said we weren't going to have ten kids this generation, but they have nine kids at this point. I knew I should have just, just embraced the large family. You put two family sims together and it just it just happens oh creativity huh well you're gonna need to use the bathroom and then do some creativity today like your sister's doing logic Because y'all are going to be aging up today. Decided to play some music. All right. 
Dad's car is here. And you're off. Our dinosaur clo cloner is out the door. I just leave Ma Grandma and Grandpa here with the little ones. When you get too tired, you go off to bed. Grandma. Raven's decided to make candy. Okay, Robbie will be in charge of the kiddos then. Sadie is becoming increasingly worried about students fa falling asleep in class. Teachers can barely teach the students anything and morale is at an all-time low. Sadie brings in a group of consultants and they offer two solutions to the problem. The first solution is the electronic generators to cool the school to near freezing temperatures make it impossible to fall asleep. The alternative is arming every teacher, aid, and gym coach with a personal bullhorn to wake drowsy students. Both choices are rather extreme, though desperate times call for desperate measures. Which plan should Sadie implement? Um... I see a lawsuit either way you go. Um, bullhorns? I'm gonna go with chill the school. Convinced? Convinced a limited version of the Ice Age is the only solution, Sadie pulls the switch and begins the Obertronic generator cold rain. The experiment is successful initially, but it isn't long before the generator creates an interior blizzard and the inhabitants of the school are trapped inside. Sadie quickly organizes the school into survival teams to gather around the fire of term papers, which keeps everyone alive until help arrives. However, the damage is done and the administration is quick to inform Sadie that she has been demoted to a university guest lecturer. I guess I should have gone with bullhorns. That didn't seem like a good idea either. Oh, Sadie, I know it's your dream. It's your dream to be an education minister, but could you say goodbye? Just come say goodbye to Mariah. Just, just come say goodbye to Mariah. Stop screaming and go tell Mariah to go home. It's only noon. Oh, it's an off day. I was going to send her back to work. But it's an off day. So I guess you'll just have to stay here and take care of Troy. Did you tell her goodbye? Okay. We'll change Troy's diaper. We'll feed him a bottle. We'll give him a cuddle. We'll put him back in the crib. It's one o'clock already? Sheesh. Hey, you need to go to bed. 
You need to head to bed. You're fine. You need to do your homework. You need to do your homework. Deep in the bowels of the university's most top secret biomechanical research institute, Sullivan has unearthed a process through which the first total reconstruction of a Tyrannosaurus Rex without the aid of cybernetics may finally be possible. However, the process will require all the fossilized amber remaining in the lab's vault or alternatively and more dangerously a computer synthesized reanimation core. Should Sullivan resurrect the king lizard using a raw amber earmarked for research or the unstable synthesized material? They just want all my people to be to flunk out right now. Everybody wants to get demotions. Um, this could go, well, we know that synthesized materials can go bad. We'll use the amber. Sullivan raised the lab's vault for the remaining amber, sets the reanimation matrix, calculates the viral growth patterns, given the amber's rate of decay to the standard 7G vortex, crosses his fingers, and electrifies the petrified DNA. The ancient molecules whirl to life, spinning and combining, following the pattern set forth for them, first by nature and now by Sullivan himself. Sullivan finds himself staring down at a new horizon of the scientific age. The university agrees and gives Sullivan a grant of 50,000 simoleons. Okay, I guess Amber was the way to go then. At least one of them didn't get demoted. Alright, dear. Um, why don't you go use the bathroom? You two are good. Pets are fine. Oh, I should probably do the food thing again. A big test is coming up. Theo thinks of a brilliant plan. Use an RFC helicopter to land on the teacher's desk during break and use a small camera to film the test beforehand. It won't give him any answers and it's a lot of work, but it could be what Theo needs to ace the test. Then again, it could also be constructed as cheating. What should Theo do? I would hope he wouldn't do it. Cheating is cheating, even if Theo isn't getting the answers. He decides not to do it and spends time studying. He ends up being stressed about the test and loses some tinkering enthusiasm. Sure. Do we want to do... Do we want to do our class today? Oh, they brought Ike home. Because oh. we, we had do our
We don't have any more kids that have to learn how to study, do we? Oh, yeah, Taylor does. Right? Theo and Tegan learned yesterday. Taylor needs to learn today. All right. Mom, I need you to come in here. No. You're going to go help Taylor with her homework. No, 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 no. Oh, that makes me angry. Hey, help Tyler with her homework. Now you do your homework. Where are you at? Oh, you're kicking. Once everybody gets their homework done. We're going to work on... Tai Chi. Because I think only the oldest three know Tai Chi. Mom, why don't you two come out here? You go here. You go here. Oh, it's Olympia. Alwyn. Alwyn. Alright. You are going... Perform Tai Chi. And then you are going to join the Tai Chi. And do you two know Tai Chi? Come on in, do the Tai Chi. We're going to do a, do it as a family. We're going to get more people doing the Tai Chi. Sullivan has fulfilled his lifetime want. He has become top the natural science career and became an ecological guru. 
Look at you go. We got one of them to the top of their career. He may be the only one who makes it, but. Okay. Oh. Join Tai Chi. No, 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 no. We're doing Tai Chi. Why are we going to fight? <sighs> now everybody stopped. <sighs> and it's her birthday. Okay. Um, she's a family sim and apparently she likes black hair and charisma. Um, here, you get yourself out here. Everybody get out here. We're going to do some Tai Chi. Is she starting to try it? Why can she not do the Tai Chi? Join Tai Chi. Join the 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 Tai Chi. I've already told her to join. Where are you going? No. It says less touchy. Where's she going? Oh, to right there. It's fine. All right, you have grown up. So this is Louis Tobias. He's a cutie. Tobias is grown up. Go join the Tai Chi, Tobias. Honey, it's time for you to grow up. No more drawing a picture. It's time to grow up. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Tara. I need you to edge up. There's three birthdays today. I need y'all all doing this. No, 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 no. Why can she not do it? Because she's too hungry? Or her fun's too low? Too hungry, right? Can you do She just can't do it. Go kick stuff and then come back.
Hey, jump, kiddo. All in green. Look at those eyebrows. I mean, seriously, what is with those eyebrows? Hmm. All right, kiddo. Over you come. Come join the touchy. Okay, we're doing better. Of course, the ghosts will be out in a minute. But they'll all be in the house. Sullivan. Oh, you have to pee. Okay. Fair enough. I just need you to do it enough that you learn how. Dude, just go get go get leftovers. get leftovers. Oh. He was getting scared. Alright, let's get you your cell phone. Since you are a teenager now. Oh, you've already got a token. Okay. Um... Then gender preference, Tabitha. She is also bisexual.
Okay. You're ready for bed, I guess. No, he doesn't have the ability to do. It doesn't matter here. You go to bed. Mom, you gotta go take care of yourself. You go... Go get some leftovers. At least I got started. I don't know that they learned it, but I got started. Who's saying they need food? I told you to get... No, I told you to go to bed. And if you're going to bed, you don't need to eat. Why are you cooking? There's leftovers. There are so many leftovers. Alright, fine. Alright, Tobias. You're going to sleep in this bed. That's your bed. You're going to have to share it with your twin. But she's not sleepy right now. Not hungry either. Okay, you better be paying attention to that. Uh 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 uh. Get your butt back over there and deal with the food. You don't walk away from the food. She's still going out. Actually, you go take care of Troy. Oh, Troy went to sleep. Go hold Troy. I'll just get him to put up. But y'all stop. 
That hair is not as cute when she's a teenager. But we we'll still go with it. At least for now. I'm gonna make her go to sleep. Can you go to sleep now? Help. Alright guys, we're gonna call this one right here. So thank you so very much for watching my video. Goodbye for now.